brought to you by GTA, your island, your network. Turning trash into cash. That was the hope of one Dedido resident who will now be paying a $4,000 fine for creating an unpermitted recycling facility on Chamorro Land Trust property. We had a call from the fire department. Uh, the person, I guess, is a, a habitual um, violator. Uh, we've actually issued uh, him a notice of violation in the past. So this is the second notice of violation that we've issued. We've also uh, reached out to Chamorro Land Trust to see what type of assistance they can provide for their recipient. According to Guam EPA Acting Solid Waste Administrator Glenn St. Nicholas, the resident was issued a notice of violation on October 19. He was cited for solid waste violations including accumulation of plastics, tires and metals, as well as burning those items to retrieve the metals inside. He was creating sort of like a recycling facility, so he didn't have a permit to do that. And uh, his practice in processing uh, was not acceptable because he was burning, uh, you know, metals, uh, he was burning fiberglass uh, and other tires to retrieve metals from those materials to recycle. So he was reminded that in order to uh, to have a facility like that, they need to submit a, a permit application for recycling. And of course, uh, all recycling facilities are not allowed to burn at all. So Nicholas said the perpetrator has 15 days to meet with Guam EPA's administrator or board and plead his case, or 20 days to clean up the site. He reminds the public that having these types of facilities is illegal and residents must get proper permitting. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Isa Baza. Brought to you by GTA, your island, your network.